found each other and to love so deeply that they embrace this beautiful and holy bond that we call marriage. That's why we're all, we're, we're all here on this gorgeous day in this gorgeous place to witness and celebrate Jennifer and Jamie's commitment to their union. So on behalf of them, welcome you all here. Welcome to beautiful sunshine. Welcome to the beautiful shade, which we don't take for granted, right? Of course, you all get to be in the shade. <laughs> First things first, Jennifer and Jamie wanted to thank their parents on this wonderful occasion. Let's have a round of applause for the parents. Yeah. Out of the room, say thank you and offer their profound gratitude to their parents yeah. from the bottom of their hearts for all the love that you have brought into their lives. Leading up to this wonderful moment, and they take inspiration from you. Thank you so much for all the love and teaching and giving that you are as a part of their lives. We could just close our eyes for a moment. We could also bring to mind loved ones who cannot be here with us today, and those who have passed on. But we certainly remember them now, and we can invite them here through our thoughts and prayers to be with us in spirit. So let's have a moment of silence for them, and they can give their special blessing to our bride and groom as well. silent prayers we say amen. amen so of course marriage is the beginning of a new life chance at making your dreams come true opportunity for great personal growth spiritual growth as you help each other to grow in life marriage endures no matter what's happening in the outside world love and marriage is still alive and thriving doing wonderfully in the year 2013 and here you are you are proof that love is still alive this year doing wonderfully and thank you so much for your inspiration because we all look for love in our own lives you found it and we're so happy for you. I want to give you every blessing that we can today and always. According to the legend of Jamie and Jen, I guess Jamie was working as a contractor here and there doing carpentry and plumbing work at Dave and Buster's at the mall. <laughs> and Jen was a server at the mall. And so uh, I guess Jamie came in, he would fix some things here and there. And he would do this a little, you know, every so often and Jen noticed a pattern and she kind of liked him so she would start finding broken things for him to fix. <laughs> and I heard even re just before the ceremony that she would actually break some things in order that he would come there <laughs> so she could get to know him better. And the rest is history, as they say. Of course, many feelings come alive at a wedding. Happiness, maybe some sadness, maybe some excitement, maybe some nervousness. Although our bride and groom seem perfectly calm and cool and relaxed, <laughs> but everyone knows something very special is about to happen as you promise all that you have, your life, and your love to each other. Since you were kids, you've been searching for and dreaming about that special someone who's now holding your hand. You're gonna give wonderful gifts to each other today and for the rest of your lives, but you're actually giving a big gift to the world today and, and forevermore. You're bringing a new source of life and love into this world. And of course, the world needs the good, the beautiful, and the holy. It needs lots of love, all the love we can get in this world. And nothing is suited to better bring that into this world than a strong and everlasting and happy and fun marriage. And so here you are before this loving community, your family, your friends, God, sunshine, beautiful place here, ready to acknowledge to the whole world that this is my beloved, the one with whom I choose to create the rest of my life. And so with that in mind, I'd like to call up Aunt Eileen to do our first reading about union. You have known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed, you have been ma making commitments in an informal way. All of those conversations that were held in a car or over a meal or during long walks, all those conversations that began with when we're married and continued with I will, and you will, and we will. All those late night talks that included someday and somehow and maybe. And all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. All these common things and more are the real process of a wedding. The symbolic vows that you are about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things that we've promised and hoped and dreamed? Well, I meant it, all, every word. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another, acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, 
dancing partner, even teacher, for you have learned much from one another these past few years. Shortly you shall say a few words that will take you across a threshold of life, and things between you will never be the same again. For after today, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. Thank you, that was beautiful. Now Jennifer and Jamie, I have some questions for each of you. And you knew this was coming, right? These are, <laughs> these are questions that you answer together. So please declare your consent for getting married. Have you come here freely today without reservation to commit yourself to each other in marriage? If so, together, please say, we have. Do you promise to be respectful, value each other as equals, be open, honest, and patient with each other, trust and have faith in each other, and be worthy of that trust? If so, together, please say, we will. You know, marriage is like an ongoing conversation as you always check in with each other, find out where each other's at, communicating with, e with each other fully and fearlessly. So do you promise to listen and do you promise to communicate? If so, please together say, we will. And of course, a marriage is a leap of faith. So do you promise to work, even when the work gets tough once in a while, for all marriages this is true, and do you promise to do that work when you need to, to honor these vows today? If so, together please say, we will. And so, may I have the rings, please? <laughs> so God, we humbly ask on this gorgeous day, please bless these rings and the two who will exchange them. Fill them with your holy presence. Keep them safe in the circle of your protection and your love always. Amen. 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 Now, Jamie, as you place the ring on Jennifer's finger, I ask you, do you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? Do you promise God, Jennifer, and all of us gathered here that from this point forward, your arms will be her shelter, your heart will be her guide. Do you promise to support her and nourish her, love, respect, and honor her for the rest of your days on earth? If so, please say, I do. I do. You may place the ring on her finger. Jennifer, as you place the ring on Jamie's finger, I ask you, do you take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? Do you promise God, Jamie, and all of us gathered here that from this point forward, your arms will be his shelter, your heart will be his guide? Do you promise to support him and nourish him, love, respect, and honor him for the rest of your days on earth? If so, please say, I do. I do. And <laughs> you place the ring on his finger. That's good. Now, as you continue to hold hands, look in each other's eyes. I know it's intense, but... Very beautiful. And please repeat after me. I, Jamie. I, Jamie. Take thee, Jennifer. Take thee, Jennifer. For my lawful wedded wife. For my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Hi, <laughs> Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Take thee, Jamie. Take thee, Jamie. For my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or worse. For richer or for poor. For richer for poor. In sickness and in health. <laughs> 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 as long as we both shall live. So now what we'd like to do is have a beautiful candle lighting ceremony. So I'd like to ask the bride and groom to just come around the different sides of the table and you know take turns basically. You each light the taper candles that represent your lives, everything you ever were, ever will be, all the uniqueness you bring to this relationship of your families, your ancestors, the spark of life that we all came from originally, your inheritance of this that you bring to this marriage. And so now if you will carefully remove those taper candles representing you and your families, and if you really wish to submit to this sacred flame of marriage, light that marriage candle right now.
I represent sub submitting to something that's bigger than either of you. Beautiful marriage. Everything. Submitting to the beautiful miracle and mystery that we call love. And we're so happy that you found this and nourished it to be a bright flame that lights the way for all of us, really. And listen to this beautiful song at the start. The fountains mingle with the rivers and the rivers with the oceans. The winds of heaven mix forever. With a sweet emotion, nothing in the world is single. All things by law divine in one spirit mate and mingle. Why not I with thine? See the mountains kiss high heaven and the waves clasp one another. No sister flower would be forgiven if disclaimed its brother. And the sunlight clasps the earth and the moon beams kiss the sea. What is all the sweet work with if thou kiss not me? Beautiful. So let us pray. Dear God, thank you so much for this gorgeous day. This wonderful day that we could be with family and friends and that we could witness the beautiful love of Jennifer and Jamie. Bless them in this union and keep them happy and prosperous. Help them to sail peacefully through the ups and downs that we all go through in this world and let their light shine for all the world to see, just like the beautiful sunlight on their wedding day. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. So now, Jennifer and Jamie, may the love that has brought you together continue to grow and enrich your lives. May you meet with courage the problems that arise to challenge you once in a while. And may your relationship always be one of love and of trust. May the happiness you share today be with you always. And may every word you've pledged here be a living truth in your lives. May you always be surrounded by all this love and happiness and excitement that you're surrounded by right now. May your hands always be held by each other. And remember to keep a lot of laughter in your marriage. And love will never be far behind. I think you'll have no problem doing that, actually. <laughs> Jamie, maybe a certain amount of saying, yes, dear, yes, honey, is also good to ensure that. Compromise, communicate, and just keep spreading your light because it's a beautiful love that you both have. To see you glowing today is pretty awesome. So, Jennifer and Jamie, in the presence of God, your family, your friends today, you've spoken the words and performed the rites which unite your lives. It's my honor as a minister, my greatest joy and privilege to now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> you know.